Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And what you're seeing here is my attempt to learn about the supposed border wall between Mexico and Guatemala. I ran headlong into Snopes, and they are lying through their teeth about this subject. They're lying big time, and I can prove it. So, this is going to be complex. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and relax while Artifacts uh, does the research here. Photographs show a border fence between countries of Mexico and Guatemala. And they say it's false. Now, the headline says this border wall here is between Israel and the West Bank. That is a lie. How can I prove that? Well, I took a look at pictures of Israel's wall of the West Bank. Here are some pictures of that wall. As you can see, it looks like they use concrete slabs or uh, something like that to build it. It's no match at all for the one that I was showing you. Which is this one. It's not even close. This is some sort of a chain link fence. The other problem with this is that the Israeli West Bank is a very highly populated area. And as you can see, there's very little in the way of buildings or anything. I don't know where this is, for all I know, it could be North Korea. Anyway, we'll get back to Snopes and they're lying. Okay, so on 26 August 2015, the Facebook group Americans for Common Sense posted a photograph reportedly showing a fence built along the border between Mexico and Mexico's southern neighbor, Guatemala. The image was accompanied by a query about why it's not racist for Mexico to build a fence to keep Guatemalan immigrants out of their country, but presumably it is for the United States to construct a similar obstruction to prevent Mexicans from crossing borders. So I uh, researched this photo here, and I actually believe it's from Arizona. But, uh, any jerk with a computer can do this. But let's take a look at what came up when I tried to verify that this image was on the Facebook group. Which is in a group of, oh, it was, just po it was posted by one liberal. That's right, there's nothing there. There's no such po photo there. So, let's take a look at Americans for Common Sense, which, of course, Snopes is trying to imply as a conservative site. Not exactly. Uh, these are all liberals. You can see Americans against the Republican, whatever. And of course, they have Bill Clinton as uh, their hero. So let's take a look at their About page. So much anti-anyone with an open mind propaganda out there. They couldn't hold it any longer. 
made this page so I could speak my mind against it and discredit all the government conspiracy theories that are floating around. That being said, feel free to come here and speak your mind and prove me wrong. But it would be in your best interest to have some solid facts to present to me. Um, at any rate, no, that photo did not come from here. It's a liberal site on Facebook. So that is a lie by Snopes. And because they lied about this, we can dismiss this picture, this meme, where it says, hmm, imagine that. I guess it's not racist. We can dismiss that because we've already proven that this is a lie by Snopes. The query is moot. And the picture is irrelevant because there is no wall along the Mexico-Guatemala border. That is a lie. I've found evidence that they've built something at least. Most of that frontier consists of rainforests, mountains, rivers, lakes, or other natural barriers. And few of the sections passable by foot or automobile include any walls or fences. Uh, that is a lie as well, because, once again, I got this on Google Earth, and believe me, there's plenty of open area. I'm not even show it. And then they come up with this little meme. Mexico's southern border with Guatemala is notoriously porous, unlike the U.S.-Mexico border, which is sewed up with a massive fence and guarded by armed border agents, drones, and cameras, I wish. Mexico's southern border is almost imperceptible. Residents on both sides of the border circumvented the official border by crossing by paying a few pesos to get pushed across slowly flowing Sushani River and makeshift inner tube rafts. Preferred picture displayed above does not show the border between Mexico and Guatemala. Ironically, it depicts a fence along the boundary between the United States and Mexico and southeastern Arizona. I believe that to be factual. This I'm talking about this picture that they made the meme for. That does appear to be from Arizona. I'm going to grant them that. Um, however, this picture you're seeing up here, is, uh, definitely not from the United States. I'm not going to really deal with it, I've researched it, I think it's on their southern border. Once again, this is a border fence Mexico built on their border with Guatemala. Keep out free loaders, keep barbed wire and towers with armed guards. Shouldn't the United States have the same right as Mexico to protect its border? And once again, I've researched this. It does not ma match the West Bank. And they're continuing in their claims, even though I've shown that the construction is completely different. Plus the fact that uh, that area is highly intensely populated, and you would see buildings. So, Snopes is lying on that, and lying and lying and lying. A very massive lying phenomenon. But it gets better. So now I've shown how Snopes is lying. You know, I again well uh, just to augment this 
will show you the wall again, the Israeli wall. Yeah, it's not coming up. But at any rate, that's the West Bank Wall. And it most definitely is not what they're saying. So why don't we take a look at what Smokes is saying on that. Alright, here's uh, their source for this picture. It might actually be in Israel, but it's not a typical West Bank fence. It says it's an extension of one built along the Egyptian border to keep out African immigrants and armed militants. Israel approves the building of a 30 kilometer fence along the border with Jordan. But it's not, you know, you bring up the images of the West Bank and they're totally different. I would still maintain this is a highly densely populated area and so probably this is not typical. Anyway, be that as it may, now we're going to take a look at the actual territory in, what do you call it, uh, Guatemala, Mexico. We're going to take a look at Google Earth, take a look at the border, What you're seeing here is the border between Mexico and Guatemala. The yellow line represents the border, and then you can see clearly there's something that follows it. Now their claim was that there's all sorts of natural barriers between the countries, and then they claim that Then they have the nerve to claim that the border is open and porous, and there's very few obstructions between uh, the two countries. Well, I would beg to differ. Now, take a look at this. Uh, there isn't that much way in the way of lakes mountains or anything here. But whatever this thing is, continues right along the border. It's going to be a little slow. I've got computer overloaded. I may even have to restart after I get done with this. You can see there's something that continues right on through this area. Right along the border. But you can see it would be very easy for someone to walk across this if there wasn't a barrier, and there appears that there is a barrier. Not a natural one, either. Falls right along the line. Uh, where are all the lakes and rivers and other boundaries that Snopes is talking about? And jungle. There isn't that much. Now we get into an area where at least we uh, can see 
some heavier vegetation. In some places, when it's broken, broken up, you could get through this easily if there wasn't some kind of a barrier. But as you can see, now the, bo um, the border turns south, and whatever this thing is, is still there. It runs right along with the friggin' border. Gee, how could that be? And again, where are the mountains, where are the lakes, the rivers, the slopes clean? Uh, here we have some body of water. And another and another, but you can get around those if you're on foot very easily. Need I go on? Point here that Snopes is lying about the uh, nature of the border as well. You know, the natural state of the border. Much of this, if it didn't have some kind of a barrier, which it obviously does, much of this could. You could simply walk across. But again, it's easy to see that something in many and most of these places has been built there, right along the border. And I'm guessing that it's a fence. In fact, they took a snapshot of it which I'm going to show next. If it comes up, if it don't, it's not a big deal. But, uh, here we go. I enhanced this. There's something there. It looks like a barrier of some kind. Like a fence. There's no question there's something that they build along that border. Now, uh, Snopes, um, uh, excuse me, what do you think they built along, what do you think they're doing along that border if they're not building a fence? Duh! So there you have it. Snopes is just flat out lying about this. That one picture might be, I'm not going to say, that this picture they posted is truthful, but it might be from the Middle East, at least. It might be from Israel. But it's not from the West Bank, as I've shown. Because the architecture is completely different. This is what I'm saying, is it's not from the West Bank. It could be from anywhere, it could be from... Another part of Israel, I don't know. But it's definitely not from where they said it was. And the Facebook group, just to recap, is a liberal group. They did not come up with that meme. It wouldn't surprise me any. I want to Unless I did it for a joke or something. So, Snopes is being intentionally deceptive here. You could walk across uh, the Mexico Guatemala border if there wasn't some kind of fence. I've shown that there's some kind of fence there. I don't know what else it could be. They've built something. So, that's about it. These people are lying through their teeth. Which is nothing new. And, you cannot trust, you cannot trust these left-wing fat-checking sites. It, it's just completely unwise. This isn't fact-checking, this is liberal propaganda.
That's all it is. Once again, this could possibly be from Israel, but it's not from the West Bank, like they claim. So, I'm Artifacts Mars. Sorry this had to go so long, but uh, this is a very complex issue here. It really threw me for a loop how complex it was. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks so much for watching.